Lesson 17. <laughs> what are you doing there? Singing Bonnie and the Oh, dinosaur. I didn't know you were singing. It didn't sound like it. Oh. What? What? No, like that. You could do it better. Yeah, absolutely. Can I get paid no. to sing? No, Harry. I don't know if you knew it, but no, I'm a professional singer. Um, we're going to talk about the. Okay, good. Area of rectangles. You guys know how to find the area of a rectangle? How do you find the area of a rectangle? Out of all sides. You look at the area? No. Uh, you take. You look at how much space is taken. Yeah, that's a good way to define it. How do you calculate it? How do you figure it out? Times height. Right, length times width or base times height. You take some kind of thing. But let's break that down. I want to show you why we do that because I think most of you know how to do, like what to do, but not why that is the way what we do. Okay, so look at this. Let's say this is a three by four inch, three inch by four inch rectangle. Okay. Yes. That's 12 inches. Okay, that's 12 square inches, not 12 inches. Oh. But if I were to, the area is basically how much space it takes up, but it's how many squares, how many squares will fit inside? How many squares fit, fit inside, okay? Yeah. So now if I look at the bottom, bottom here, how many square inches? So inches are one inch wide and one inch high. So how many square inches can I fit on the bottom? Yeah, four. four. So let's see. And then, and then I've got these four square inches, right? That look like this. Then how many rows of the, that same four square inches? Three. Three. So three rows of four squares. That's where we get the multiplication. Three rows of four. What's of mean in math again? Three rows of four. Division. No, actually, we probably haven't talked about this yet, but of in math usually means multiplication. Okay? So I know it seems like it would be some kind of division, right? Of. But it usually means math, multiplication. So this is why we multiply. We're trying to figure out how many squares we can fit in that rectangle. Well, you can fit four on the bottom, but there's three stacks of those four. So there's three rows of those four. So that's three of those fours, three times four is 12, okay? So this is kind of like an equal groups problem, right? So remember the number of groups times the number in group, okay? Well, there's three rows of four. So in this case, it'd be rows and row, right? Number of rows, well, that's three. Number in a row is four, so then you get 12. So finding the area is an equal groups problem. It's like if there's 10 people in each class and there's seven classrooms, how many students? 70. 70, seven times 10, it's just multiplying. If there's three in each row, like if you think about seats, if there's three in each row, if there's four in each row and there's three rows, three times four is 12, okay? But there's not 12 students here, there's only six. Right. Which is half of that. That's a different problem. Okay, so let's say that I don't have a rectangle. Let's say that I've got this weird looking and weird sounding shape here. Now, we know how to find, how do you find the perimeter of this? Henry? Just add all of the... Add all the sides. Now, we don't have this side, but you can figure it out. How do you figure out that side? Because it's six. Henry? Just do 12. 12 minus four. Right, so it's this whole eight. thing has to be 12, so it has to be 12. Or That's you could just say 12 plus 12 plus six plus six, right? And yeah. then you can get the perimeter. But we're not finding the perimeter, we're finding the area. There are three ways to find the area of this. Do you have one way, Xavier? The uh, side without a number on it is eight. Okay, so we can just put that in there. No. Boom, boom. You're so quick, I know. Okay, tell me one way to do this, Austin. Uh, so I have to come up to you. All right, so okay. I'm gonna, I want you to tell me the 
and, and then we can oh, disinfect. Get ready, you're gonna be on the video. You're gonna be on YouTube. Yay! Okay, here, no, 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 here, here this is the blue way. Okay, good job. All right, so let's figure out that. Good job. Thank you. So if we, um, so do you see how it's two different rectangles? How do you find the area of this right rectangle? What are the dimensions of that? Eight times eight two. Times eight times two. two, because really, if you think about it, see how there are, not exact, but there are two rows of eight squares. Do you see it? Okay, well, you could extend that over here and do the same thing. Um, so that blue line there, that's one way to do it. So two times eight is 16, right? Let me just, two times eight is 16. And then what's the other rectangle? Careful. Four by six. Animal. Yeah, it's four by six. Yeah. Four times six is 24, what's 24? And then you find it together, right? 24, because that's how many total squares are in there, right? What's 24 plus 16? 40. 40 square, let's say uh, they're square units, or you can just say SQ units. Okay, what's another way to do this? What's the green way? Somebody besides ammo. Who wants to show me another way to do this? Ammo. Emerson? Uh, what's the square we doing? Yeah, so this was one way. We cut it into two rectangles here. What's another way to do this to find the area? Emerson, do you want to try it? He's so excited. Whoa! He's so excited. Okay. So. They're all the same, right? Yep. So, what's another way to do this? They're on the interweb. So, basically, what you do is uh, you just do 12 times 2 plus. Oh. Uh, yeah. So let's let's draw that. Draw that. Okay. So and separate it with drawing by drawing it. Twelve. This twelve by two rectangle. So draw a line right there. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah that's all okay. So now what's twelve times two? Twelve times two is just twenty-four. So put a twenty-four there and circle it. And then what's the other rectangle? Or six it's just six times um, two. No, not that. What's what's the one you left? You already did this. What do you have left? Yeah. And then it'll be um, four times four times two. So do you see okay, the, do you see dots. point to what you're left with? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? What are the dimensions of that? What oh, shape is oh, that? That's four times four. Yeah. So that's Which a four by four rectangle 16. or a four by four square. Good job. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Ben, Give him a round of applause. Drink water right now, Ben. All right. Also, Jace, uh, please stop watching David Dobrik. No, not David Dobrik, Jonas Brothers. That's, that is good advice. Okay. Um, yep. All right. There is a third way. What is the third way to do this? Can I say something to the camera? Um, if you come up and show me a third way to do this. It's, and here's you have to literally... Think outside of the box. I know. All right, so this is what Amos shouted from the back. So if you do this, then you can take that whole rectangle and then get rid of this. How do you get rid of something in math? Divide. Subtraction. Or subtract subtract it. it. Sometimes you would divide it, yeah, but in this case, we're going to literally subtract it, cut it off, all right? So this is a 6 times 12, which is 72. I didn't know this was a rectangle. That's so this is 72. And then what's that little rectangle that we're trying to subtract? Um, 32? Uh, yeah, it's a 4 by 8 rectangle. What's 62 minus 32? Or 72 minus 32? 40. 40. Same answer as our other ones. Okay. So um, sometimes it's easier to do it this way. Sometimes it's easier to do it that way, okay? So you might have to think outside of the box, literally. Um, 
at, Wait, in you some did situations. It? There's a box there. That's right. And then you, you went outside of it. Uh, pun intended. Pun intended. Literally. Okay, so this is basically finding area of not just rectangles, but really we did we did. This is only rectangles that we found the area. But you can put two rectangles together and make a bigger area. Right? Just add, add the areas of those individual rectangles together. So there's no formula for chubby L's, right? How do you find this area of a chubby L? You can't. But you can break that chubby L into rectangles. And there is a formula for finding rectangles, length times width or base times height. Okay? You guys good on this? Black math! Give me some math and I'll give you some flack. Black math!